Urban Summer Festival Zuiderpark Den Haag. 4, 5 en 6 augustus 2017. De grootste Hindoestaanse openluchtfestival van Europa. Dit jaar popartiesten uit binnen- en buitenland. Kom en geniet van een spectaculaire programma met diverse tenten en kramen. Milan Summer Festival Zuiderpark Den Haag. 4, 5 en 6 augustus. Welkom bij Dia Tailors. Wij zijn zeven dagen per week en ook in de avonden geopend. Onder het genot van een kop koffie stellen wij met u uw maatpak samen. U kiest uw voering, knopen en garen. Wij kunnen uw naam of andere tekst borduren op de voering en op de kraagveld. Ook stelt u het model van het pak zelf samen. Natuurlijk mag ook een gepersonaliseerd maatoverhemd niet ontbreken. Wij stijlen uw pak af met bijpassende accessoires. Veel draaggenot en tot snel. Met vriendelijke groet, Team Dia. AGN Ayurveda Nederland. Met meer dan 30 jaar ervaring en begrip onder de deskundige leiding van de heer Anil Kumar Meta, de oudste Ayurvedische kliniek in Nederland. U kunt bij AGN terecht voor een vakkundig gezondheidsadvies en klassieke Ayurvedische behandelingen. Immers, een simpele tip kan voor u een wereld van verschil betekenen. Ons motto, leef bewust, weet wie u bent, wat u eet en geniet van het leven. Wilt u Ayurveda leren? Dat kan ook. Bij ons opleidingsinstituut IJsra kunt u diverse beroepsopleidingen volgen tot Ayurvedic Practitioner, Ayurvedic Technician, Ayurvedische Massagetherapeut, Ayurveda Yoga, Teacher en Therapist. IJsra, uw kans om Ayurveda te leren en de mensheid van dienst te zijn. Ja, Bollywood Weekender! Bollywood Weekender is terug! Centerparks de Limburgse Pil staat vrijdag 30 juni tot en met maandag 3 juli weer in het teken van het grootste Bollywoodfeest van Nederland. Drie dagen lang muziek, diverse workshops en de restaurants compleet in Bollywood stijl. En natuurlijk staan alle Centerpark faciliteiten voor jullie klaar. Wil je graag meer weten over dit te gekke Bollywoodfeest in Centerparks? Kijk dan op www.bollywoodweekender.nl Vandaag in Hit TV een exclusief interview met de nieuwe Indiaanse ambassadeur Vino Rajamani. En verderop in deze uitzending een verslag van de derde editie van International Yoga Day in het Haagse Atrium. Kijk er dus. So, Your Excellency, uh, first of all, uh, very heartily welcome on uh, behalf of Hit TV and also the, the entire diaspora community in the Netherlands to uh, our beautiful little country. Thank you. I'm delighted to be in the Netherlands. Uh, thank you, thank you. So, um, yesterday was the presentation of your credentials to the King of the Netherlands and I saw the ceremony was beautiful. How did you experience it? Oh, it, was, it, was, it was very, very nice. I think uh, uh, it, it was very regal because there was a, a horse carriage which was sent uh, all the way to the embassy to pick my wife and me up as well as four of our colleagues mm -hmm. and then they drove through the city of uh, Hague mm -hmm. up to the palace of the king 
I was received at the king with a guard of honor, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I was taken in, and I had a meeting with the king. Uh, the king himself was wonderful. He was so full of warmth and uh, friendship. Uh, you know, the king, uh, from the time he has been a little boy, mm -hmm. has been traveling to India. His father, Prince Claus, uh, was a great believer in India. He was very fond of India. And his biographer says that he not only found India's past fascinating, but he had a firm belief in India's future. So uh, the king has a very emotional, uh, strong attachment uh, to India. And I, of course, told him that I hope you will keep up the tradition of your father and visit India as often yes. as possible. I'm sure you will because I saw also downstairs saw the beautiful photo uh, coverage of the visit of his mom to uh, India. Also, to uh, then he was the prince, uh, but he also came along with his wife Maxima. No, I didn't uh, meet uh, Queen Maxima yesterday. Normally, uh, when the credential ceremony happens, uh, the queen is not present. But I'm hoping that I will have an early opportunity to meet her yes. and to also exchange views. Queen Maxima has an additional role to being the Queen of Netherlands, which is that she is UN Secretary General's special advocate for financial inclusion and development. Mm -hmm. The financial inclusion program in India is one of the largest programs happening anywhere in the world. It is one of the most successful programs. Wow. You know, one of the major initiatives of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi mm -hmm. was to launch something called Gen Aadhaar Gen. Uh, Dhan Yojana, mm -hmm. under which he wanted uh, every Indian to have bank accounts. Oh. And over 280 million people have already been enrolled mm -hmm. in that program. So uh, Queen Maxima has great interest in all that is happening in India mm -hmm. in the field of financial inclusion. Okay, so the two of you have a lot of talking to do when you meet her. Indeed. <laughs> So, um, uh, your Excellency, I, I was checking your uh, Twitter account before I came here, <laughs> and I saw this heartwarming photo of you with the Prime Minister in India, uh, with the caption, you seeking uh, blessings and also guidance before uh, your adventure here in Holland. So, I'm just curious to know, what was his uh, most important advice to you before you came here? Well, his most important advice was, Netherlands is very important. Let's take India-Netherlands relations to new heights. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's also what you're going to do because I read you want to strengthen the bilateral uh, cooperation uh, in different fields. fields. Uh, so uh, what is your plan for that? Well, um, I was about to add that uh, one additional thing the Prime Minister said was also that uh, I hope to see you sometime in Netherlands soon. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that itself will be one of the most exciting things possible. Uh, we have, um, in fact, almost immediately next week, uh, first we have the International Yoga Day, which we in the embassy and the city hall of, uh, the, and the city government of The Hague are marking together uh, on s this coming Sunday, the 18th, in the atrium of the city hall. Uh, but after that, we have the West Bengal chief minister visiting Netherlands along with a big delegation of businessmen and journalists. Okay. And then we have a number of other visits. The Minister for Food Processing, mm -hmm. Pranit Kaur, uh, has expressed interest in coming to Netherlands at some point of time. In November, there's going to be a major food fair, which oh. India is organizing in New Delhi for the first time. Mm -hmm. And Netherlands, as one of the leading agro-export mm -hmm. countries of the world, mm -hmm. uh, is a sort of a mandatory participant and we hope we can attract a large number of Dutch companies to come and participate in that fair. Yes. And of course, we hope we will have our Prime Minister also visit Netherlands sometime this year. That would be lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, okay, like in Holland, uh, India is mostly known for like its cuisine or Bollywood, but there's so much more to this incredible com uh, uh, country. So um, how do you want to communicate this to the broad public in, uh, in Holland? Well, uh, I would say that uh, for the people of Netherlands, uh, they must visit India, they must learn about India, they must know about India. There, is, there are few countries in the world like India. Uh, every region has its own culture, it speaks its own language, has its own cuisine. Uh, we have the Himalayan mountains, we have the oceans, we have the desert, we have forests, we have unimaginable biodiversity, we have rich agriculture, uh, we have 
very friendly, warm, hospitable people. Uh, you would know that uh, the, the sort of the motto given to us by our ancestors is Atiti Devo Bhava, that you treat your guests as though they are gods. And the people of India are waiting to welcome the people of Netherlands uh, to the country. But let me also add that, uh, and this is something I discussed with the king yesterday, uh, there are few countries like in, uh, uh, in the place of India where under a democratic system of government, protecting all human rights, protecting the rule of law with an independent judiciary, free press, active civil society, which is trying to take 1.25 billion people into rapid economic growth. India is today one of the fastest growing economies in the world. And uh, we are very proud of the, what we have been able to achieve in the last 70 years of our independence. But at the same time, we also realize we have a long way to go. And therefore, we are, we are engaged in extensive efforts in every sector of the economy uh, and involving every stakeholder, whether it be business and industry, whether it be farmers, whether it be agricultural workers, whether it be students, whether it be intellectuals, whether it be trade unions and workers, yeah. everybody together, we are trying to bring them into a national endeavor to make our country grow, to improve the quality of life of our people, yes. and to give all of them new opportunities using the latest of technology, yes. the latest of management practices. So to see Indian democracy at work, to see Indian economy growing, mm -hmm. uh, to see the Indian people managing their own lives and improving their own lives is itself a fascinating task, which I'm sure the people of Netherlands would love to come and watch. Yeah. I, I can imagine, definitely. Uh, but uh, Your Excellency, I believe uh, this is your first time you're in Holland. Is that correct? I have visited here once before as a tourist, mm -hmm. but this is the first time I have come here to live. So what I'm very uh, really curious about, because you have traveled around the globe, and now uh, what is it that really strikes you, uh, maybe um, in your function as an ambassador, but maybe also as a person, about the Dutch people and, uh, and Holland as, as a country? Well, I think Holland is a fascinating country. It might be a small country with 17 million people as its population, probably less than the population of New Delhi, yeah. but uh, it packs a powerful punch when it comes to economics and uh, business. Mm -hmm. It has uh, created uh, companies which are uh, world leaders mm -hmm. in India. Companies like Philips, companies like Shell, companies like Unilever are brand names. Uh, the Unilever people say with pride that uh, there would be no Indian family which does not use at least three or four uh, Unilever products every day. Uh, and Netherlands, despite being a small country, is the second largest exporter of agricultural products after the giant United States. Uh, so in India is a country where we have large production of fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. but almost 40% goes waste because we do not have cold chain facilities. Mm -hmm. We are unable to make all the linkages from the farm to the folk. Okay. So this is an area where Netherlands can help us a lot. And similarly, the very word Netherlands signifies water. And the people of Netherlands, uh, the country of Netherlands has always uh, for centuries been fighting battles with water and winning those battles. Across the world, water is one of the biggest issues, one of the biggest challenges, including in India. We need good drinking water, we need to prevent coastal erosion, uh, we need to prevent flooding or to manage flooding, uh, we need water for our agriculture, we need to prevent pollution of water, we need to be able to recycle water. In all these aspects involving water, Netherlands' extraordinary achievements, we in India would like to learn from them and we would like to create win-win partnerships whereby India will benefit and Netherlands will benefit. A lot of, uh, of opportunities, I see. Um, I'm arriving at my uh, final question. Um, I was wondering, the embassy is in the perception of most people, you know, it's uh, the embassy in, in, in the Netherlands is for scholars or diplomats. How are you planning to make it more accessible for like the broad public and especially the Indian diaspora community, like uh, for example, the Surinamese Hindustani people here who are really interested, but maybe don't know much about about the embassy. Uh, thank you so much for this question. Let me say that uh, the Indian embassy uh, is the the friend of uh, every 
person of Indian origin abroad, mm -hmm. including the Hindustanis. Mm -hmm. And it is different not only of every person of Indian origin, mm -hmm. of even of the Dutch people, I would say. Yeah. We do not want to be a distant institution frequented only by a few people. Mm -hmm. We would like to reach out to people. We would like to meet people. We would like to know what they think. We would like to invite them to India. We would like to engage with them and understand what their problems are, what their challenges are, and to help them in whatever way we can. Now, as an institution, we are located in The Hague. We are a few people. We are not a large institution. We have limited resources. But within these resources, we will do everything possible to reach out uh, to whoever is interested in us, particularly the Hindustani community. So I welcome all my friends in the Hindustani community to meet me, to interact with me, to come to the embassy. And I promise that whenever there are events involving the Hindustani communities, whether it be the young, whether it be involving the media, whether it be cultural, whether it be religious, whether it be social, I'm happy to be part of as many events as I can so that I come there and I meet you rather than you having to come here. And I also will send my officers and my staff to come and participate in these events as much as we can. Wow. Well, that sounds like a great uh, plan and invitation. Thank you very much. Most welcome. And once again, I, I would add that the forthcoming International Yoga Day mm -hmm. is a wonderful opportunity for all of us to meet and to get to know each other. So I welcome all your viewers to come and participate in the International Yoga Day uh, this year. And in case you cannot make it this year, please visit. We have a cultural center of the Indian Embassy here in The Hague. Mm -hmm. Please feel free to visit that cultural center. There are free yoga classes. There are free Hindi classes. There is a library. We have cultural events. We have talks from time to time. Please come and take active part in this cultural center, which actually belongs to you, and it is for you. Thank you. It sounds wonderful. Thank you for this interview. Thank you very much. I enjoyed talking to you.
friends from all over the world it gives me great pleasure to address you as we prepare for the international day of yoga this unique occasion that brings all of us together to celebrate the invaluable gift of india's ancient tradition today all of you are the ambassadors of yoga taking forward india's ancient message to the world i thank you for your commitment and welcome you as sisters and brothers of india's family ladies and gentlemen lovers of yoga it is such a pleasure to be here in the hague and in the netherlands and to start my tenure here as ambassador with the international yoga day as the first official program after presentation of credentials to his majesty the king of netherlands The love is there, the challenge is there, and the communities are there. So we're connected, and let's try to make the Hague, the Netherlands, India, and the connection between India and the Netherlands a vibrant one. quite a turnout here on international on the celebration of international absolutely thrilled we had the atrium hall full uh, i think we should have at least had 600 or more people uh, which is quite a record so i'm wonderful i'm so happy to the community here the yoga lovers here we had people from india people the suriname hindustanis uh, we had uh, our dutch friends uh, we have uh, the vice mayor we had our cricket star suresh raina uh, so it's really a wonderful program So what do you think does uh, yoga uh, bring people if they do these exercises frequently what what will it bring people You know uh, yoga brings many things to people one physically it helps you improve the flexibility of your body it brings you more energy it give it rejuvenates you uh, and at the same time as you would have seen after the initial exercises there are also the, there is also the practice of pranayama which is the breathing exercises and there's a little bit of meditation uh, 
so yoga is also a means of exercising the mind and conditioning the mind so that you can develop mental strength you can sharpen your intellect you can improve your knowledge you can spur creativity so all this uh, comes through yoga but more than anything else just look at all the people who have come it spreads friendship it spreads peace it creates bridges between people so all this so do you also yourself practice yoga on a frequent basis yes I, I try and do yoga as much as often as I can and what is wonderful about yoga is that you don't need any equipment all you need is a yoga mat and a little space great thank you for this interview and all the best thank you thank you very much do yoga <laughs> Wat is een internationale yoga dag hier in het atrium in Den Haag? Hoe heeft u het beleefd? Nou, schitterend. Net als de afgelopen twee edities eerder. Hè. Dus nee, kijk, het is natuurlijk werkelijk fantastisch dat uh, dit uh, georganiseerd wordt. Wat ik zeg in de huiskamer van je stad. Uh, het atrium leent zich uitstekend ervoor. We hebben nu 600, 700 mensen hier die samen. Nou ja, goed, eigenlijk een VN-resolutie die geaccepteerd is geworden, uitgevoerd hebben. Dus wat mij betreft echt uitstekend dat we dit doen. Bent u zelf ook een, uh, een fanatiek yoga beoefenaar? <laughs> nou, heel veel. Het brengt uh, rust. Um, kijk, het mooie is uh, van uh, uh, yoga, als je een druk bestaan hebt, dan moet je één momentum tot je nemen. En als je, vooral die ademhalingsoefening, dat vind ik echt heel erg belangrijk om een beetje weer wat energie bij elkaar te halen. Dus yoga geeft rust, maar het geeft je heel veel energie, heel veel power om dingen om de dag tegemoet te treden. En dat probeer ik wel te doen. Heel mooi en uh, bedankt voor het interview. Dankjewel en fijn dat jullie er ook waren. Oké. Okay. Goinda Tours voor al uw busreizen naar Hamburg, Luxemburg, Parijs, Londen, Europa Park en Zwitserland. Kijk voor ons complete aanbod op www.goindatours.com. Wilt u gebeld worden door ons? Stuur dan een e-mail naar info.goindatours.com. Goinda Tours. Service with a personal touch. Agribiderij regelt uw uitvaarten volgens uw geloof. Zij begeleidt ook de nabestaanden bij de rituelen. Door 16 jaar kennis en ervaring is Agribiderij in staat u een volledige dienstenpakket te leveren. Het maakt niet uit waar u verzekerd bent. Agribiderij kan de uitvaart voor u regelen. Ook als u niet verzekerd bent, kan Acribidij uw uitvaart regelen. Acribidij is vanaf 2014 een keurmerkondernemer geworden. Voor meer informatie kunt u terecht op onze website. Proud to serve you. Ja, Bollywood Weekender! Bollywood Weekender is terug! Centerparks de Limburgse Pil staat vrijdag 30 juni tot en met maandag 3 juli weer in het teken van het grootste Bollywoodfeest van Nederland. Drie dagen lang muziek, diverse workshops en de restaurants compleet in Bollywood stijl. En natuurlijk staan alle Centerpark faciliteiten voor jullie klaar. Wil je graag meer weten over dit te gekke Bollywoodfeest in Centerparks? Kijk dan op www.bollywoodweekender.nl Yeah.
Welkom bij Dia Telers. Wij zijn zeven dagen per week en ook in de avonden geopend. Onder het genot van een kop koffie stellen wij met u uw maatpak samen. U kiest uw voering, knopen en garen. Wij kunnen uw naam of andere tekst borduren op de voering en op de kraagveld. Ook stelt u het model van het pak zelf samen. Natuurlijk mag ook een gepersonaliseerd maatoverhemd niet ontbreken. Wij stijlen uw pak af met bijpassende accessoires. Veel draaggenot en tot snel. Met vriendelijke groet, Team Dia.